Welcome to the next chapter of our Understanding Tectonic Plates series. In this video, we'll delve into the intriguing world of plate boundaries, where Earth's colossal puzzle pieces interact and create awe-inspiring geological features. Let's begin with divergent plate boundaries, represented in green on the map. These are zones where tectonic plates are moving away from each other, creating space for new crust to form. One iconic example is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which stretches through the Atlantic Ocean. Along this ridge, molten rock rises from the mantle, solidifies, and gradually pushes the continents apart. But what happens when divergent boundaries occur within continents? Well, that's where continental rifts come into play. Take a look at the African Rift, a striking example. It's essentially a continental divergent boundary, where Africa is slowly splitting apart. The African Rift is a prime example of how a new ocean can begin to form. As the African continent stretches and thins, it creates a rift valley. Deep below the surface, magma rises up, contributing to the process. Now, let's take a look to convergent plate boundaries, represented in red on the map. Here, two tectonic plates are colliding, and their interactions give rise to some of Earth's most dramatic geological phenomena. When an oceanic plate meets a continental plate, the denser oceanic plate sinks beneath the lighter continental plate in a process known as subduction. The intense pressure and heat generated during subduction create volcanic arcs and mountain ranges, such as the Andes. When two oceanic plates collide, one may be forced beneath the other, resulting in a subduction zone and island arcs like the Mariana Islands along the Mariana Trench. Finally, when two continental plates collide, neither is willing to subduct. Indeed continental crust is not very dense compared to the underlying asthenosphere and subduction never take place. Instead, they crumple and fold, forming colossal mountain ranges like the Himalayas. Now, let's explore transform plate boundaries. These are regions where tectonic plates slide past each other horizontally. These boundaries are represented in orange on the map. Imagine two colossal puzzle pieces, each representing a tectonic plate, fitting together along a jagged seam. These puzzle pieces are not static, however. They are in constant motion, but with a drawback. The motion along transform boundaries is not smooth. The plates are locked in place until tensions build up, leading to sudden, powerful releases of energy, which we know as earthquakes. One notable example of a transform boundary is the San Andreas Fault in California. Here, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate are sliding past each other. This ongoing movement has contributed to a history of significant earthquakes. Understanding these various types of plate boundaries is crucial because they're responsible for the formation of mountains, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the creation of new oceanic crust. In this video, we have seen the different tectonic plate boundaries and how they shape the world with real examples. In the upcoming video, we'll dive into the remarkable Wilson cycle and unravel the mysteries of supercontinents. Like, subscribe, and activate notifications for more captivating explorations into Earth's wonders. Until our next adventure, stay curious and stay safe.